What's going on guys, Patrick here. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to do door cups and edge guards. This is gonna be a really great add-on feature to window tinting. Uh, if you guys can't increase the prices for your window tinting, then what you can do is add additional services, express roll down service, in-house warranties, and door cups, edge guards, maybe even, maybe even trunk guards, so that you're giving more and then you can add on to the bottom line. Uh, really quickly, on a four door car, if we're gonna do door cups and edge guards, typically I charge $20 per door and $20 per cup. And if they do it all together, door cups and edge guards, normally it's like 160, I'd give it to them for like 140, 150, um, and give them a little bit of a break because they're doing all of them. If you guys don't know what door cups and edge guards are, essentially is, is we're gonna put paint protection film on the edge of the doors. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help when the doors open and hit stuff. That eight mil film is gonna go ahead and help protect the edge of the door and hopefully protect the paint as well also for the door cups realistically it's for nails and and wives or, or people with really big fat rings diamond rings and things of that nature when you constantly grab the door handle you end up scratching the inner portion of the door cup um, so much so that you get through the clear coat and you go and start going into the paint um, and no amount of love is going to fix that so I've seen some people doing PPF on them, or that's what PPF is here for door cups, but I've seen people doing vinyl and maybe color matching, um, which is great. If you're gonna do vinyl and stuff, it's okay. It's kind of similar, but like doing a perfect color match is really hard. So with paint protection film, not only do you get that eight mil thick film for that protection, but it's also virtually clear. So it, it's one of the cleaner ways to do it. So something really good to add on to your shop. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna do here. All right, we're gonna start off with the door cup. And really simple, really easy. I don't have a squeegee. All right, and so before we get started, I do wanna go over a couple of things that we are gonna be using for the install. Uh, we are gonna be using a spray bottle. This is an 80-20 dilution with water and alcohol. So 80% water, 20% alcohol. Um, and in my experience, because you're doing door cups and edge guards, like it doesn't matter whether it's 72 or 92 or whatever the dilution rate is, like when you buy the actual bottles. I don't know if we have a bottle of alcohol here. I don't think so. Um, it's somewhere else. Um, if you're doing like hardcore paint, paint protection film where you're doing full hoods, full fenders, full bumpers, then you probably want to hone that in a little bit. But this is, this is real easy, real low key PPF stuff. So microfiber towel to help clean things. Um, we have a spray bottle again, 80% water, 20% alcohol. It's a good mixture. That's going to be your tacking solution. There is a like slip solution, but with stuff like this, you really don't need it. It's uh, it's quick and simple and easy. And also a, uh, a small squeegee. This one is an angled squeegee. This is off of a yellow turbo. So the durometer is pretty soft. Um, you want a softer squeegee that way it can conform to the, the bends of the door cups this is going to be the easiest for you. If you do, if you use a stiffer one, you're not going to get that, that contour in the squeegee and it's going to be a little bit harder to squeegee it out. So these are pretty much the tools. And then you're gonna also need a knife for the edge guards, but uh, I'll show you that. So first starting off, you're gonna go ahead and just spray down the door cup in the area that you're gonna be working with. And you're just gonna go ahead and wipe it down. Obviously this van has never had door cups before, but pretend this is a brand new car or whatnot, or we wanna prevent further damage from happening. Go ahead and wipe everything down, super, super easy. And go ahead and take your door cups, you can use Go into your, your plotter software, you can use generic door cups, or you can actually find the exact door cups for, uh, for that specific make and model. So we go ahead and wet it down. I wet down the, uh, the door cup and then I wet down the PPF. And what I do is I like to line the edge, the top edge up with the contour of the, uh, the car. So you don't want this edge lifting up past like where the curve is. If not, it'll, st it'll stay lifted. So I like to go ahead and just kind of tack it down and work it, work it down and work it out and spread it out. And I like to kind of spread it out from the center out. And I'll get all the moisture in the pockets out here, just with my finger, just to kind of pull it out. And then I'll go ahead and come in there with a squeegee and just go ahead and squeegee the rest. You can kind of pull the door handle back to kind of give you a little bit more space in there. Now the, the generic door cups are gonna be a little bit easier to work with, but they may not fit every single one, every single time perfectly. That's okay, if you're a perfectionist, you can go in there 
and um, you can go in there and get the specific ones, but you have to understand the paint protection film is paint protection film, not paint perfection film, okay? It's a sacrificial layer uh, that goes on the exterior and it is invisible. So if it's not like the car, the, the car door cups and it's just a generic door cup, don't forget, like some clients might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. They're like, oh, well, it's not perfect. Well, it's, again, it's doing its duty. Now we have that in and it, now it's doing its job. It's protecting the, the paint inside the door cup. So don't overthink it. Again, just keep it real simple. So as you can see, that's a super easy, super simple install. Um, only takes about a few minutes. So um, this is a, a low energy, low output service that yields a good, a pretty decent return. So this is what the, these are the type of things that you want to do when you're going to do add-on services. All right. So now that we're done with the door cup, we're going to go ahead and move on to the edge guards. Obviously, this is the back of a van, but realistically, you want to kind of go with the body line. I usually usually start at the bottom of the window. So if this was a roll down window, obviously I'll start down here and I kind of go down to the contour, maybe even go up to a wall and open the door and see where the biggest part like this is the biggest curve that will most likely hit a wall before anything else. You want to try to at least cover the high impact areas. That's going to be the best one for you. And here, real simple. This one is actually a dry install. It makes it a lot easier, a lot simpler. So I'm just gonna go take my slip, slip solution and I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe down this edge, uh, the front, the side, and the back because the, the PPF is gonna be wrapping around. And we just wanna get that, that edge as clean as possible before we go ahead and lay this film down. Because this is an alcohol mixture, um, after I take my towel off, it will dry fairly quickly. And uh, let's go ahead in here. I'll do a rough, let me see. I'm gonna go from like here down to here. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of give it a rough, rough estimate in size. You can always trim it, right? It's like a haircut. You can trim more. You just can't take, you can't put it back on. Boom. All right. And from here, oh, and I'm sorry, I should have probably clarified this. So these door cups, we're, we, we cut from the plotter directly um, using our, our software, and, and that's great. You can do edge guards as well, but what we do is this is the edge guards that we bought from SolarGuard. Um, they're half inch wide. They come in a, in a hundred foot roll that's just like this. This is the easiest way to do it. Just purchase these, um, trying to plot them on the plotter and then taking the strips out and working them here. It just makes it more of a pain in the butt. So um, get the pre-cut ones. These are half inch. I think they can go to three quarters, um, but half inch has always worked for me. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start peeling. Again, this is a dry install. Come on and bring it in close. This is a dry install. I'm not going to pull the liner all the way off across the whole thing. And what we're trying to do is we're just going to bring at least half. I'm going to lay half right here. Again, this is dry. Halfway there. And what you want to do is you want to have that edge uh, even across the entire way of the door. You don't want to have like, you know, an eighth of an inch here and then it, and it gets up to bigger a quarter of an inch and then back down an eighth of an inch you want to kind of have even though it is invisible you kind of want to keep the thickness um, consistent so we're just going to start with the outside edge and we're just going to go ahead and lay it down with just my finger notice how easy that is uh, ppf does have flexibility you don't i'm notice that i'm not stretching it and then laying it i'm just kind of pulling and then making sure it's it's nice and in, in, in there. You don't have to make it super tight. Like if I, if I tighten that up right there, I can make it go into that valley. But like we're putting a little pressure on there, so there's like, like there's really no need for that, especially with door cups and edge guards. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down right at the end. I'm just gonna run it all the way down. So notice that we have it halfway on, right? The other half is still kind of sticking off. We're just gonna run our finger again. This is a dry install. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap my thumb and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work, we're gonna work the outside, this side, and then the back side. So now we're gonna work the side. I'm gonna run my finger down the edge, making sure to wrap around. We're gonna avoid any air bubbles or pockets, just like that. And keep going all the way down, boom. Okay, now I've got the front, I've got the side, now I'm gonna wrap around the back. Get my thumb back there and just keep wrapping around. Super simple. And just keep following it all the way around. These contour, these bends and curves right here, they'll be fine. Don't overthink it. Boom. Just like that. Boom. So now just like that, we've been running for 10 minutes and I've been talking 
three quarters of the time, but the door cup and edge guards here are now installed, super easy. You can do this dry. I've seen people do it wet, but it just takes a little bit longer. Once you do a few hundred doors, they, they go by pretty quickly. Um, so just kind of want to show you this extra add-on feature. You don't have to be full send on PPF. You don't need to take a PPF course to be able to do door cups and edge guards. If you want to do that, uh, sign up for that, but you're going to be looking to be doing full hoods, uh, fenders, uh, bumpers and things of that nature. It's a lot more, a lot more into it, but this stuff is super easy. Anyone can pick up door cups and edge guards and you can start offering the service right away. Diversify the business, offer more services, more add on services, adding more money to the bottom line. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free uh, to comment below. Again, these are, this is the paint protection film that, I, that uh, we get from solar guard, um, pre-cut half inch, 100 foot rolls you can buy those for the door uh, the edge guards all day long and uh, and then they have their own ppf as well so um, if you have any questions about ppf as well you can uh, reach out to mike maltista <laughs> and he can guide you there too all right we'll talk soon bye